Can we live to be of use? Can we survive homosexuality? Can we survive lesbianism? Can we achieve cosmos a fading? Can we bear a rotten society? Can we dare a decomposed society? Can we dare a corrupted future? Can we? Morals are gone. Shame is gone. Values are gone. Character is gone. Conduct rotten, integrity infected, customs eroded, ethics abroaded, beliefs destroyed, habits ravaged, behavior defaced. Who is to blame? Who is to blame? Modernity is sweet like a sweet, so attractive as gold. It's beautiful like a lotion. It's as bright as a new fashion. But it's a menace, a threat to humanity. It is fierce, fierce humanity. It is as cunning as a fox. It is as well as death. It is next to hell. Homosexuality, a product of modernity. Humanity is lost, conscious lost. It's ungodly, it's inhuman. A man to a man, a woman to a woman. It's unhealthy, it is invalid. Not even a cock. Neither a bull can entertain man in God's image. A homosexuality a sin, an evil a crime. It's a transgression. Wild animals and buffoons. The sense of reason is so scanty, so scanty. But man has it in abundance. Wow. Thanks to the love of the Almighty God. Thank you, Lord, for the endowment of power to reason. Part and parcel of life it is, but why homosexuality among people? Why? What is that you cannot ignore? What is that you cannot ignore? I'm talking to the sense of reason. Talking to the sense of reason. Homosexuality is rampant. Homosexuality is rampant today. It's homes and workplaces. The, the, work boys, and the boys and girls in danger. The boys and girls in great danger. The male counterparts have gone ruthless. It is insane and unreasonable. It is insane and unreasonable. The girl child is made a fool. A fool. The young boy is not a tool. A tool to be used by any good. A good. I'm talking to the sense of reason.